What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Grifflands. Uh last time, big goof, got a little greedy. Thought we uh thought we had it in our in the bag and I fast forwarded through some decisions that cost us everything. However, playing as Rook, double double mulligan draft, uh skipping card drafts is not an option. Whatever. Whatever. With Rook we know. We want to fight as much as possible. We prefer fighting animals over people, and uh, that's it. I'm just gonna keep skipping stuff until I see all red. But the negotiation deck doesn't seem to matter as much. It's good enough. All right, now here's where thinking becomes important. Spend all charges, card cost one less per charge, hits all enemies. Sounds really good. Uh, threshold four, gain two overcharge. So we can't count on being empty because we have one card that spends. Uh, for every overcharge, we don't want to bet on this. And only on two, three, there's a 50% chance that this card gives us two overcharge, which is nice. Um, bow anchor is going to be too expensive. We don't have guaranteed ways of removing it. So let's stick with this for now. Again, I don't want to bet on empty. Uh, I will always bet on burn though. Um, anything else we can do? A single bit of concentration will give us overcharge, which would be nice. That's unfortunate, but hopefully. We, these two can run together. So concentration, perfect. Apply to defense per empty cell. That's fine. Send one charge, no thank you. Spend the two overcharge apply. Cost one less per empty cell. Apply two impair per overcharge spend. I don't want to spend it though. So you can go away. But it only cost one? I don't think I've ever had that card, so it's it's a interesting situation to be in. And no thank you, Cyclone. I'd rather have oh I'd rather have Cyclone. Alright. Alright, alright. Uh gain three concentration at the start. Whenever you gain fully charged, gain four overcharge. Apply two mark to a random enemy. We have nothing that generates charge, right? We only have ways of spending it. Right. So, we won't gain fully charged that often. Starting with concentration sounds really nice, though. Uh, start of each turn, apply to mark. All right. Uh, deep claw marks. Ever so slight breeze of hot air. Uh, let's go for our pet right away. I know- oh, this was not supposed to be the first fight. Oh no. Alright, you're hitting us for six. Uh, this is the perfect amount of defense. We can go ahead and scorch and burn you. And you're going to get a little bit stronger when I hit you, but I have extra defense here. Cool. Now you're going to purge your buffs and debuffs. Cross one less per charge. So this is three. Okay. Definitely want to apply this. Get some concentration for the future. Or do we want to play you? Yeah, yeah. I think because he's about to purge his burn, we just hit him hard. Okay, six damage coming in. We would love more overcharge. Because he's going to hit us hard, and I don't think there's much we can do about it. We could spend overcharge to apply impair. Yeah, I think that's the move. So do we apply scorched or do we apply burn? I think 
burn is definitely better. And you're getting real strong. But now you're made weaker. Alright. What else? What else? Spend all charge. This costs one less per. Okay. This is an easy defensive turn. Gain concentration. Empty all your cells. And then gain defense for all your empty cells. Okay, he has 9 health left. We're in a fine spot. Let's see if we can't get some experience on these cards. Like getting you to level up. It's fine with me. Now, this can't be skipped. Gain one minimum damage per empty cell. Spend it to three overcharge, apply one wound per overcharge spent. Spend one charge, deal two bonus damage per empty. I think having empty cells is easier to manage. And you, yeah, yeah. If we can get that to cost one or zero, happy to see it. Uh, tell us what's ahead of you. People talking or left path? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try what we did last time, where we just avoid people out in all situations. Token of Hesh, garbage. Give me a single healing item. Spark grenade. This is where the greed kicks in. This is where the greed kicks in. We have... We're gonna be healing next, right? I think we still fight, though. Or at least we take the, the risk. Oh! Because we want to fight to improve our deck. Right? Yeah, yeah. Now it's unfortunate that it's two people. But they're not attacking turn one. This is a chance. This is a chance. Unfortunately, we did not get a very offensive hand for turn one. We could Scorch and Burn. Ah, uh, we really can't do much. Hits all enemies, though, is nice. Hits all enemies is nice. Now you both have frickin' evasion. Um, what to do, what to do. We definitely want to defend ourselves. Let's go ahead and blast the weaker one. They're gonna evade it, but they won't evade this. You did evade it, because you have evade too. Man, that's rough. Don't go for my kneecaps. Alright, 8 damage coming in. You no longer have evade, you have one stat. Got it. We have no defense in hand. And you know I'm thinking about hitting everybody with this. And if that's the case, I should play a striker as well. But it doesn't really hit everybody because you're running away. Or you're dodging. So I could do 13 damage to you. I could do... I could just focus you. Not even worry about playing this card. So I could do 4, 9. Deal 2 bonus damage per empty cell. So that would be 4 empty cells. This could do a ton of damage. Hold on. So yeah, I think the play is... Now this will do 10 damage on you. I'm gonna get hit for a ton. A ton! But you're almost dead. Alright. You no longer have evade. If we hit everybody with this, then you're definitely being beat up by your burn as well. Burn you a little bit. 
kick you a little bit. Okay, you got your evasion back. Let's defend ourselves. Oh, expose is a real stinky. But I don't think there's anything else we can do about it. We just want to ensure. So, if he evades, the burn doesn't apply, right? So we'd want to just gain the overcharge. Yeah, it still gave us overcharge. But he no longer has any evade. This will hit everybody. I need to be able to do 23 damage to you. So, spin up two overcharge gives you impair. This won't. What is your default? One to three? This will do one to four. And it won't be able to spend charge to activate its other ability because we're going to spend all charge here. So, this will be 1 to 4, 7 to 13, and then 12 to 18. Not a big fan of that. But I think that's the most damage we can do. Yeah. Because if we play anything else first, or if we play you first, you'll become too expensive to play. Okay. You rallying is a uh, real stinky. However, five to eight damage on any on everybody is real nice. It has to be a seven or eight, or we die. Do I want to take that gamble? Well, I only have two other offensive cards in hand. I could guarantee that one of you goes down. But then the other one's gonna hit me for seven, I'll be near death anyway. Just send it. <sighs> I'm dead. Alright. That was that was fast. I don't even feel good about that one. I feel like too much greed. Too much greed sent us there. Let's just put me back into it. It's not often I'm gonna do this, but. 13 minute video does not sit right with me. Get me more red cards. Thank you. All right. And let's go ahead and get rid of all of this. Emptying, apply impair, spend one charge, apply scorched. So our threshold was able to go off plenty. Uh, burn doesn't bother us at all. This card costs one less per overcharge. Yeah, yeah. Cost one less per empty cell, no thank you. I don't want to charge. Uh, this... Did, did we enjoy you? Did we enjoy you? I don't think we played you that often. Let, let's try something different. Oh, I thought we clicked on you. What the heck? Remove, remove. Alright. Okay, okay. Choose a graft, same graft as last time. Concentration is the way to go. Uh, let's try the left path. A much easier fight than last time. Or at least much easier enemies to deal with. We wind up taking two. That's okay. Now we have much more damage coming in, because you're stronger. Got it. Well, this is definitely going to reach threshold, so we got our two bonus. So these two attacks will put you down. I 
and I'm thinking if this does six, did seven, we can put you down with a boot blaster. Give us a little bit more points. Bleed's unfortunate. However, you can just play a bunch of cards counteract it because you're not attacking this turn. And we can easily do 8 damage this turn. Let's try to do it in as many cards as possible. Ah. Can't really play that many cards. Okay, what are we adding? Lucky shot? No thank you. Alright, lucky shot, you come off us. Come with us. Fleed egg. I would love the future pet. Let's go left path. Search the crates. Spark grenade. So is this randomized each time? Oh, hello. I did not expect you so soon. I thought this was a fixed situation. So I would love extra concentration. So now we're at six defense. We can just start attacking. I feel like we should remove you. And okay, if they evade the attack, they evade the burn too. Good to know. I'm not a fan of the defend you put on your little buddy here. So I'm gonna go after you instead. Let's see if we can break you down a bit. Now we're not going to be able to impair you. We can do 7 damage. You healed them, what a jerk. Alright, okay, okay. Spend one charge. Burner. Defense. We're gonna take one damage this turn. You can just go away, please. Just leave me be. We're gonna focus fire the healer. Should have been doing this from the start. You're a real stinky jerk. Oh, I feel if we play defense plus concentration, this will do 8 damage to everybody, which means no one's dying. You'll survive with 1 health. If we... What else could we do? We could do defense and concentration, you and you, which guarantees that you die to your burns, which I like. Because you're a real jerk. Alright. Now, 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 now. Start blasting. Defend ourselves. You know what? We can even play with our little fleet egg a little bit because that is a card that benefits greatly from hatching. Uh, three damage, we got you. All right, what are we doing? The bonus damage equal to the cost of the most expensive card in your hand. This card costs zero. Another threshold card. Bolster shot could be good because we have some four cost cards in our deck. So this could be 7 to 9 damage. I think this can work on turns where those don't. Now, we have enough concentration. I don't want to bolster it there, so we'll just get more Scorch. Here, spend one charge, steal two bonus damage per charge. I'd, I'm going to stick with this, because
because we don't have ways of gaining charge. Um, more defense is the way to go. And triage is actually fantastic. Alright, signs of no signs of danger. Really quiet. Single set of footsteps. Let's go to the right so we can get some healing items like salve and a healing item known as the lumen grenade and the token of hash can stay here never gonna use it thin veil of leaves and twigs covered the entrance smell of smoke you can see a faint whoa okay so no animal path this time the question is rise member or i think this is an admirality member let's go with the the rise could give us a rocket launcher or we could grab a rocket launcher from them Ooh, i do not want to fight a robot though i don't have enough attacks per turn to deal with the robot so you're gonna just let me go it's gonna be a really easy fight because you're just gonna let me go what is this? Cycle through your deck 20 times? Not gonna happen. What are we doing? We are... Go ahead and delete this. Set the coin, discard a card, spend to influence. It's all enemies. We have no influence. Alright, this is prepared, so huge. Okay, we're gonna draw cards. They're gonna be free, or at least one of them is. We have no arguments. Get out of here. Our negotiation deck isn't good, but it is very simple to play and it just works. Wait a minute. Discard you. There you go. There's some progress. And you're dead. And you're dead. Go ahead and grab this. Hopefully we'll never have to... I don't, I don't care. We're never going to have to negotiate again. Get out of here. The cave is quiet. There are no signs of life. The air has a fairly distinct musk. A lot of commotion, it's hard to tell what's making the sounds. So... So, so, so. No signs of life, there is however a fairly distinct musk in the air. A lot of commotion. Let's go towards a lot of commotion. There you go. Because my thinking was... If there's a lot of commotion, then there might be two sides to the fight. If there's two sides to the fight, at, at the very least, it'll be somebody else to mitigate the damage that comes in. Now, this is going to be 11, so I'm going to wipe out whoever's going to hurt me, which is you. Get the heck out of here. I'm going to enjoy my defense and extra concentration. And we'll start blasting you again next turn. Now, hit all enemies won't be very useful in the future if we're fighting the enemy that we always fight. Zim? I should really learn his name. Uh, but for now, actually, two defense per empty cell will be 246, nine defense. We have 16 damage coming in. My word, dude. Get rid of them. No damage coming in. Much better. Or nine. You know what? There you go. Also, enjoy. I definitely want to apply the salve during this fight. Definitely want to do that. We are taking no damage. You're taking five. Let's see. 
Where does this put you? You're fleeing. Let's play this. Deal bonus damage equal to the most expensive card in your hand. So you're both fleeing. Fantastic, fantastic. 15 damage coming in. Don't don't like to see it. Yeah, you hate to see it. Is it both from the same enemy? No, they're splitting it up. We have very little defense. Let's draw a card. It didn't help. However, this is doing big damage now. So we can do 14, or rather 16 damage to an enemy, which means we can get rid of one of you. Let's get rid of the one that's doing uh, slightly more damage, which is you. Yeah, you're dead now. Or you will be. Impair means we took less, which I appreciate. I appreciate that greatly. We're not taking damage this turn, so we're definitely salving up. Anything else we want to do? I hate being diseased. Spend one charge, bite scorched. Go ahead. Now you're dead. Just bop him in the face. Easy turn. Alright. So, bust through the defense. We can hit you for three, which will hit you for four. But that's it. Yeah. Hit you for four. No more cards you're gonna get leveled up before the final fight, but that's fine. Next turn, draw an additional card. Empty. Spend up to three overcharge. Yeah, let's uh, let's get some draw. You are going to do more scorch. You are going to do more burn. You leveled up a lot of cards this turn. Gain four overcharge. Or yeah, I like the sound of that. I could do more damage because we rarely get the impair to go off. Per empty cell, then gain one charge. I don't know about that. One counter per could be huge. And we tend to play you fairly often, so you doing getting a huge damage boost could be cool. Urchin Musk is freaking useless. Get that garbage out of here. Uh, you're coming with me. We're gonna enjoy this all beast party. What's up, Zin? One of these days, I'll remember your name before this fight. So, we would love to. Actually, this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. We concentrate a little bit, we burn them a bit. Solid turn one. You do get hit for 6, but you'll live. Now, I'm getting hit for 12. Uh, what to do about that? Gain Knight Defense and draw a card. So I'm getting hit for 1, which means if I spend 1 charge, then... If I spend 1 charge, then my empty slots will compensate and give me 12 defense. We would like to... Threshold? Yeah, yeah. This costs one less per overcharge, so you're free. And we need to spend one. There you go. That's how we do it. He had no burn on him, so I didn't care to apply charge. Uh, scorched. Alright. Pretty good start. We're powered up. He's half health and hasn't applied any wounds to our deck. Uh, he's not attacking us this turn, so we can go ahead and just go off on him.
we can just flex on him a little bit, gain some nice points. Alright, he does have 4 counter and he is doing 8 damage to us this turn. You're gonna get killed. Let's go ahead, gain all this block. Alright. Let's gain all the block we're gonna gain this turn. Okay. So 16 defense is what we have to work with. 8 coming in, so we have 8 defense, which means we can hit him twice. We're not going to hit him twice, we're gonna hit him once, but we're gonna gain a ton of overcharge for it. We're gonna hit him twice. We still have 8 defense, so we're not gonna get any wounds added to our deck. You're still going to off yourself because you're going to get counterattacked. But nothing I can do about that because I could not impair him or do anything like that. You no longer have your counters. This is going to be free. And you made my little fleet run, so you get put down. Reputation for violence. Oops. Little Suzette. Thanks for, thanks for helping. So, we ended with a score of 2300. Which is pretty okay, pretty okay. Uh, hopefully we never have to do a quick restart like that. But the second run was also fast. And we run, we won with a deck that wasn't exclusively burn and scorch based. So that's nice. But thank you all for watching. Uh, leave any comments, criticisms, call out my misplays in the comment section below. Like the video if you watched to the end of it. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.